righty. So I have my prediction video for the Cedar Fair 2020 editions. Again, this is just a prediction video. I'm going to go over what I think all the parks are going to be getting. Some of the parks have already announced, so I guess that's kind of cheating. Um, but also, if you notice on the screen, there's a money bag with $140 million on it. So throughout each slide, that money is going to be um, subtracted from what I think the investment that that park's going to get um, costs. So I'll take that out of the money bag and it helps me predict um, for the parks further on down what they could be getting or a rough estimate on what parks are going to be spending. I thought I would add that little twist in there since I figured out um, the number value that Cedar Fair is going to be spending in 2020. Again, that is approximate. It is not 100%. 140 million dollars they just said it would be around that based off of what they spent in 2019 but obviously the first park we're going to predict um so i'm going from least investment value to uh the biggest investment value that's how i'm going to rank this so we're starting off with carowinds um carowinds is kind of a cheat for me i know that they're getting a water slide and it looks like that's all they're getting and i estimate the water slide addition to be around i put one to two million but I overestimate the numbers here to be safe. So I put $2 million for the Waterside Complex um, that Carowinds is going to be announcing. It looks like it's going to be a Matt Racer slide based off, based off of what we're hearing. So um, you'll be subtracting $2 million from the $140 million to bring us to $138 million left in the Cedar Fair Bank. So again, Carowinds is most likely announcing Racer Slides um, today, that's what most of you should be watching this video. So Carowinds is just going to be adding a water slide complex um, from what we're hearing. Um, so nothing too, too exciting. But um, the next park on the list, Dorney Park. So Dorney Park um, is a difficult one. So Dorney Park is one of those parks that seems to be over teasing um, for a second year in a row. So their teasers have displayed the like, kids drawings of a coaster and they're like, well, we'll try and make it happen as a teaser. Um, and they're also announcing today as well, I believe. So $138 million left in the bank. Um, I am going with that they are just going to get a water park investment. And I'm going to estimate that to be around $3 million. That could be overshooting it, undershooting it if they get restaurants and that with it. So $3 million for Dorney Park. I don't think they're going to get a coaster. I think this is another year of them over teasing. I think there are other parks that are showing signs um, to get a coaster over Dorney Park. So again, in my honest opinion, Dorney Park is probably just going to get a water slide valued at $3 million for their water park, which brings us down to $135 million left in the Cedar Fair Bank for our next park. So here we have Worlds of Fun, Oceans of Fun, and this is an easy one. I think it's very obvious that they're just going to get a water park expansion. It seems to be the year of water parks for Cedar Fair. So Worlds of Fun and Oceans of Fun is probably just going to get a water park investment valued at about $3 million. Again, these are very rough estimates. I am not saying that's what they're going to cost. I am just putting up an estimate on the screen. So that will bring us down to a $132 million left in the Cedar Fair Bank for the next park approximately. Um, again, if at any moment you guys disagree or uh, you have suggestions about what the parks could be getting, comment down below. So this is my home park, Canada's Wonderland. They already announced what they're getting. They got a little water park investment with the um, cliff jumping, and then they got a kid's investment with almost like the um, swinging Peanuts 500 uh, suspended kind of flat ride. Um, I'm going to estimate that to be $3 million as well. Um, for Canada's Wonderland. So that'll bring us down to $129 million left in the Cedar Fair Bank. And that brings us to a very difficult park. So King's Dominion, we know they're getting a coaster in 2021. That's what the teasers are suggesting. Um, we're not seeing too much construction to hint at that it's going to be for 2020. So I'm going to assume they're either going to get a flat ride or a water park expansion. It looks like they're going to get some sort of water slide complex in the water park. Um, so I'm just going to put $3 million because all I'm getting for teasers so far is a water park or a water slide tower to replace, um, the wave pool that they're removing. Hopefully there's a little more, so it could be three to $5 million, but I'm going to put $3 million here, um, for King's Dominion's water slide. And that could be an overestimate if it's just literally one slide complex. Um, 
but we'll put $3 million for all the water park investments to be saved. It seems to be the trend for 2020. Water park is um, definitely the biggest uh, tension uh, on Cedar Fair's list for 2020 by the looks of it. But this is where it's going to get to um, start to get interesting. So Knott's Berry Farm with $126 million left in the Cedar Fair Bank. I'm estimating that they're going to spend $5 million. And I think 2021 is going to be a bigger year for them. Um, we know that they're, by the sounds of it, investing in Ghost Towns Alive. So from what I'm hearing, it could be a multi-year expansion, just like Canada's Wonderland's Frontier Canada. So you'll probably see 2020 and 2021 have investments made. So I'm guessing a flat ride for 2020 at Knott's Berry Farm or investments in more events and buildings and upgrades. So I'm going to throw $5 million at Knott's Berry Farm. That number could go higher. That number could go lower. But to be safe, I wanted to throw um, $5 million at Knott's Berry Farm just to be safe. So after Knott's Berry Farm, um, we have CGA. So CGA um, is going to have about $121 million to play with um, for an investment. And CGA has already made their announcement. They're getting a very big water park expansion. So they're getting restaurants, a kitty area, a waterside complex. Um, so very exciting for CGA. And for CGA, I think I had the estimate around... Um, $8 million um, for California's Great America. I may have bumped that up to um, $10 million. So we'll bring that number down to $111 million left in investment. And after CGA, we have Michigan's Adventure. So this is where it gets even more interesting. So Michigan's Adventure is a park that's removing their antique cars. Something, I think that's what the attraction is. They're removing antique cars and it's a pretty big plot of land. And there's, this is where um, things could go different directions. They could be having a ride removal at one of the bigger parks and a ride could be moving over to Michigan's Adventure. Just for an example, it could be something like Time Warp moving over to Michigan's Adventure, or it could be an all new attraction um, all together. So for example, Michigan's Adventure, it could end up with a Raptor. It could end up with a small family coaster or it could end up with a flat ride. So for Michigan's Adventure, I did put them down to spend around five to $10 million because I honestly think they're going to end up getting a flat ride for Michigan's Adventure. I don't think they're going to get a coaster. Um, I think there's one more park that deserves it a little more that we'll go over um, in a bit. So I'm definitely predicting Michigan's Adventure is probably going to get a flat ride in that plot of land if it's not a ride relocation or a coaster relocation to Michigan's Adventure. Um, estimated around five to ten million dollars so that brings us down to 101 million dollars left in the cedar fair bank again i'm doing over estimates to be safe um, and our next park is valley fair so this is where it gets really interesting so with 101 million dollars left in the cedar fair bank um, and valley fair being a park that has been called out on the stockholders call in the 2018 season for how well they were doing season pass sales wise um, it's a park that's definitely been showing growth potential that it's definitely going to catch Cedar Fair's attention and you're going to see investments come in. Now, that being said, 2020 might be too soon for an investment considering 2018 seems to be seemed to have been the first year that Michigan's Adventure, sorry, not Michigan's Adventure, Valley Fair was doing absolutely amazing um, and being called out on stockholders calls. But it may not. They Again, Cedar Fair has shown to move investments around. Um, if they need to put something in at a park, they will move things around at other parks to make way for that. And CGA seems to be a park that seems to keep getting pushed back and back um, with that hyper coaster and even that launch um, shuttle coaster that's supposed to be going to CGA. So I'm definitely predicting Valley Fair is going to be the park that's getting a coaster um, in 2020. I know that's a very bold statement, but I just have a sneaky suspicion Valley Fair is going to be announcing a 10 to $15 million coaster. So nothing too spectacular, but something still substantial um, to help that park grow. Um, and if it's not Valley Fair that gets the coaster, I definitely see Michigan's Adventure and Valley Fair swapping. So the money price still being there, um, a coaster I do think is going to either Michigan's Adventure or Valley Fair. Um, so, but in this slide, I'm definitely predicting Valley Fair is probably going to get the coaster estimated around 10 to $15 million. Um, so with 10 to $15 million taken from the Cedar Fair bank, 
that brings us down to about $86 million left. So that brings us to King's Island. We already know what King's Island is getting. King's Island is announcing the Giga Coaster. Um, so King's Island is going to announce the Giga Coaster. It's supposed to be around 301 feet um, drop. It's supposed to look um, absolutely amazing. I'm saying supposed to because I don't want to confirm anything. But based off of the blueprints and renderings that we are seeing, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, it looks like a blend of Fury and Leviathan. And there lo seems to be an almost inverted part. That's the discussion going around now. So this could be one of the best gigas out there. Um, so fingers crossed for Kings Island. Your announcement's at 10 p.m. today. Super excited for you guys. Um, couldn't be any more excited to see another giga in North America. Um, but that brings us, so with $86 million left in the bank, taking away $40 million. So a lot of you might be looking at that $40 million price and being like, Brendan, what are you doing? $40 million is not what the Giga Coast is going to cost. I'm estimating that they're going to have an all new themed area. Um, we saw that with Carowinds and Canada's Wonderland. And I think that the uh, coaster is probably going to be around $28 million, $30 million, and then $10 million thrown in there. Um, for theming and enhancing the area, blah, 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 overestimating just to be safe. So we're down to $46 million left in the budget, and we only have one park left, Cedar Point. So this brings up a lot of questions. What is Cedar Point getting for their 150th anniversary? We know they're celebrating it over two years. A lot of people are saying um, they're not getting a coaster. They'll get a coaster in 2021. But I'm also realizing that there's a lot of parks lined up for coasters in 2021. So <laughs> the lineup for a coaster is getting significantly long. Um, I also do agree that it doesn't make sense for Kings Island and Cedar Point to both get very large coasters um, in 2020. But that's where it gets interesting. Um, so I wanted to do this whole money in the bank and showing the investments and their costs to show you guys that it's most likely going to be more than just Kings Island getting a coaster in uh, 2020 with Cedar Fair confirming that they are spending around $140 million. And when you spread the wealth over, especially with the investment that's, that have already been announced at these other parks, it shows you that there is definitely money being thrown at parks um, that we have not announced or we're not being teased for. So 2020 is going to be an interesting year and I can't wait for the announcements to be announced throughout the day and throughout the week and throughout the month because it looks like there's definitely a couple other parks getting some pretty big investments and fingers crossed that we see about two to three coasters um, being built in the Cedar Fair chain for 2020. That's definitely my prediction. I'm going to go with two or three um, just based off of the dollar value and how much money is left in the Cedar Fair bank. And a lot of people are saying that Cedar Point's just going to be going down the um, sentimental route with uh, kind of like back to history and um, a parade potentially or shows, more upgrades to restaurants, maybe a potential boardwalk or kitty expansion. Definitely a lot of money to play around there for Cedar Point with what's left in the Cedar Fair Bank. So super excited. Comment down below what you think it could be coming to your horn park or any of the parks listed in this slide. Um, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. I wanted to try something different, so hopefully you liked it. I'm recording it super late. That's probably why my voice is super low right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and enjoy your announcement day. Bye.